Immediate guard pull, no respect shown. <laughs> <laughs> really, they should stand him back up. There was no engagement there, but now he goes for it. He just wanted to show him. Show him. He goes, I don't, res I don't respect this. This butt scooting nonsense. Callum Mullen, a uh, last minute replacement for a uh, young Matty Powell here. Right, he feels like he's the underdog, he told me. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know why. Really. Okay, he looks to engage. Matty looking yeah, straight yeah. into a triangle position there. I'd love to set his, his submissions up for inversions. Callum comes from a MMA background, so expect to see more of an aggressive guard passing style from him. He wants to he wants to get in the side control, attack from that position, maybe take the back and let the sub from there, catch guillotines off the uh, off some of the transitions. Whereas Matty, with more of a grappling based background, look for him to potentially roll underneath and look for leg locks as well as inverting under to attack. Oh, there we go, a leg lock from Callum here. Callum looking to lock up the leg for a leg lock again. It looks like he's trying to get into a heel hook position, but he can't quite find the heel here. Switch into a knee bar. Might as well to come up. Yeah, what he needs to do now is kind of get pressure down. You see how he's yeah. putting pressure through that uh, that left leg. If he now sprawls now and yeah. starts to continue to put pressure on the hip, it's gonna gonna twist the hip to the side. It's gonna weaken the legs. Eventually, he should be able to pop out straight into side control position. You feel pretty comfortable on top there. Wrist control. Potential of him to use his left hand to come up and look for a Kimura grip here. You might see the beginning of that attempted setup, but nice no, trying to weave the legs. There you go. There's that Kimura. Read that one pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's good, right? You know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Looking for that guillotine yeah. attempt. Matthew just sits down. He's happy to play this guard position. Yes. He likes to invert from here and look to spin underneath, uh, attack the armbar triangle combination. Hasn't really looked to attack the legs yet, but we'll see if that continues. Half guard position here, kind of looking to pass. Nice and heavy, gets the side control. Matty looking the frame underneath. There was almost, Callum went to step over there to look to take the back. Matty just in time to regain the guard position. But Callum's putting a lot of pressure on here and expect to see him pass that guard yet again. I'm not doing much from the top position here. He's buying his time a little bit. He obviously respects the open guard of uh, of Matty. But I want to see him. I want to see him get past him. <laughs> <laughs> get the side control. Come on. A bit more urgency. See some yeah, come on. We're getting up to halfway. There we go. Callum Mullen, happy to sit on top, grinding away a little bit. Looks like he's trying to step over uh, Matty's arm with his left leg, try and kill that. Maybe open that up for a pass, but really he should be looking the. He's looking to take cross face. Matty doing a really good job of blocking the cross face. There we go. Pass straight into the mount position. He controls here. Now no gear. There just isn't a lot that you can do from the mount position. So. 
with the exception of possibly going for something like an armbar, but slippery, it's very hard to finish. Expect to, to, for Callum to try and wait for or try and get Matty to turn to the side. As soon as he turns to the side, he's going to, I imagine, look to take the back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like a good mounted triangle from the... From it can happen, but it's all dependent on where the opponent's arms are, you know. And on a level like this, compared to the gi, when you have the option of attacking the, the choke, and the choke opens up the arm, you attack the arm, it opens up the choke. Taking away that is uh, makes a massive difference. And no gi Ezekiel attempted. Uh, I can't see this happening, but sometimes you just got to screw it and yep. try and put your fist through someone's throat. <laughs> it is so badly. Matty trying to buck, buck him off. Almost a quarter guard position there on the left-hand side for Matty. Okay, he's trying to get his head underneath the arm there. He's looking for a head and arm yeah. choke. Yeah, exactly. Arm triangle from here. Matt reads that straight away, and he's keeping the arm buried to the floor. He's not allowing Callum to get his head underneath. Callum persistent with it as he turns to the side now. If he can get his back behind Matt, look for him to immediately look to try and take the back position. Americana attempt from there. He's under the arm. He's, start working it up. he's still just not quite at the angle for the uh, oh, the quarter guard position. He's looking to pass back through. He's in a nice passing position, though. He has the arm tied up. But keep on driving that right leg away from his hips to try and secure this side control position. Can't quite get that foot out. Can't. You can see how tight he is around the, the head and arm of of Matty Powell, that really stops him from turning or really being able to generate much power from underneath. So I would not want to be underneath that uh, that guard passing position right now. But he does enough. He's looking for the underhook, but it's very possible that Callum will try and turn that into a dart or some sort of front headlock variation. Back into half guard. Callum has to be careful. If he doesn't stay addressing that uh, underhook position, the, the near side underhook position, then uh, it could be a potential sweep or a back take from there. But yeah, he's threatening the choke and switches back just to a normal half guard here. Right, framing well, he's got the knee shield in. Back into the open guard. Let's see if this will be any different from before. Hey, hunting him down off his arse here. <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to see Matty. You know, he he's obviously attack very, leg more. very, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But not, not, not to attack the legs it's to go for a, uh, not necessarily to go for a leg lock, but actually to use the leg attacks to force a reaction big enough to get to the yeah. top position. Because that's one thing that we haven't seen in this match so far is is Matty Hol Holmes in the not Matty Holmes, sorry, Matty Powell in that's someone else. Uh, Matty yeah. Powell in uh, the top position. Uh, I'd quite like to see that, but I'm not sure that we're going to get it. You no, know, Cal Callum's in minutes left. He's in pretty good control of the situation here. You know, Matty's had a few submission attempts early on, but nothing in the last five minutes or so. But of course, oh, oh. this just goes to a draw if nobody gets the submission. So, okay, butterfly sweep attempt. He's switching into a leg lock position from here. So he, there's a minute left of this match. If he can take advantage of this, this will be a, a very impressive finish off of what's been a pretty pretty tough fight for Matty so far, to be honest. Just a pressure from, from Callum Mullum, just a... Looks like a little bit too much to really get under. That's the thing with the leg locks. You can entangle the legs, but if you can't get underneath, you see how he's trying to work the head yeah. under the hip. Kind of doing a really good job of stopping Matty from being able to get his, his head under enough that he can uh, elevate yeah, Callum and help, attack the legs. The the leg. Yeah, exactly. So now the leg's open. He's oh. going to look for a back Hopefully take from no. here, but Callum looks up a Kimura grip. He's got it. Can he do anything with it? You're using it. Oh, the, oh. Yes, yeah, this is the thing with a. Oh, finally. Oh. There's not oh, long left of the match, shame, but shame that, that's a shame. Matty, uh, with 30 seconds or so left in the match, finally gets to a dominant position.
That's a good match. That was you know, a good match. That's, that's, that's one where, yeah, you know, just never could get quite enough to get a finish there. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was a draw. Go insane.